Hi folks, this video is all about coding the Sphero Spark Plus, the waterproof, shockproof and scratch resistant tennis ball sized robot that's programmed and controlled from your smartphone or tablet. In this video, I'll be programming the Sphero using the Sphero Edu app on an iPad, but it works equally well on Android devices. The first thing we see here is our feed. That's where we'll see trending content, alerts if a fellow Sphero user comments on something you share, and the Sphero Edu Twitter feed. To program our Sphero, click programs at the bottom of the screen, then the plus sign. Here we give a program a name, as well as choose which method we'll use to program Sphero and the model we're using. Now, I want to feature block programming mainly in this video, but I'll show you very quickly how draw programming works. The first thing I'll do is click aim so that the direction Sphero thinks is forward is the same as we do. I'll click on our Sphero to connect to it, then I see this. I'm told on the screen to drag the aim ring until the Sphero Spark Plus's blue tail light faces me. And it's as simple as that. In draw programming, I can just choose the colour I want Sphero's LEDs to appear, draw out the shape of the path I want it to take, and its speed, then click start to get it moving. Ok, so the path's a little bit wonky here because of how I've drawn the square, but you get the idea. Now for block programming. Again we click the plus sign at the bottom right of the screen, but when we click create this time, we're shown a screen with a long list of blocks at the bottom. I'm going to program Sphero to move in a square just as before, changing colour for each side of the square. To save time, I'll speed things up a little bit. So we end up with a program looking like this. Let's see if it works. Now remember to watch to the end of the video to see Sphero perform some fancy moves. Perfect. This program goes one step further and allows you to draw a shape of as many sides as you want by changing this variable here called sides. Also we have less lines of code because I'm using a loop. Now, if all of this sounds a little bit complicated, don't worry. A long press on any block tells you what it does, and you can also choose to learn more about it. That's just one way you can learn block programming using the app. Let's see if that program works. Now, I didn't mention this earlier, but the Sphero contains lots of sensors that it can use to detect how it's being moved or if it's been dropped or collides with something. This allows it to be used in far more complex and interesting applications than I'm showing here. Sphero uses its accelerometers to draw a graph of its location as it moves. This disappears when I click stop, but I can easily find it again by clicking the three dots at the top right, then choosing sensor data. Here we'll find the graph from before, as well as the data from all its sensors. I could even export the data to view it, say, in Excel or Numbers. For anyone ready to move on to programming Sphero in JavaScript, we can also choose to view the JavaScript code for the program we've just written. I think I'd need a little bit of help before I was ready for that, but I'd be able to find help within the app by looking at some of the Sphero activities. These first ones include video tutorials which teach draw, block and text programming, so there's certainly lots of support available when you need it. If you're looking for ideas on how to use Sphero if you're an educator or if you just want to have fun, there are lots of great ideas here. My favourites so far are Sphero Long Jump and the Chariot Challenge. You'll also find lots of activities and programmes written by members of the Sphero community. You might even find one or two written by me. So, hopefully you now have a better idea of how the Sphero Spark Plus works and how much fun it can be. It's a great tool for learning with lots of support from Sphero themselves through the video tutorials which you'll find in activities and new programs every week. Hashtag Thursday Learn Day. There's also the Sphero community where you can share your own programs and activities as well as search if you're looking for inspiration. Because it can be programmed in three ways, it's suitable for a wide age range from preschoolers who can use it when learning shapes, colours and movement, all the way up to university students who can program in JavaScript and analyse the sensor data that the Sphero provides. If you want more information on how Sphero can be used in STEM or STEAM education, take a look at sphero.com forward slash education. 
If you have any questions about my experience using Sphero, then ask it below and check out the website for information on all the STEM robots I'm testing. If you've enjoyed watching this video and found it useful, then why not subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you're notified when new videos are released. You'll find a link in the description to where you can get your hands on your own Sphero too. See you next time.